Whatever, well, we do what we want. We do. Do you like the new banana painting in the background? Little phallus. Penises. Penises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mm. So, Katharina just did something that was very brave. That's scary. And scary. She has this, like, really Crazy. interesting alien penis, penis head. head thing art that she made. It's sucking its own juices. Right. Its own alien creative juices of some sort. And this... <laughs> this popped out of her head and she's like is this the kind of art I want to be known for making ah! <laughs> but also what happens is if it doesn't come out of her head it just rattles around in there for a while and I told her do you really want to be the person with the alien sucking its own penis inside your head for the rest of your life you gotta let that out <laughs> uh, and we just got to start we got to talking about the old artist story of how if you actually express yourself for real then nobody will nobody love will anymore. love you reinforced by the old story I, I'm pretty sure it was Van Gogh who never sold an a painting in his entire life because Van Gogh hung around with a whole bunch of plebes who didn't under understand him and believe me if I'm wrong with the particular artist name somebody will correct me in the comments but we got the internet now Yay! Internet! Which means that we can find the people who love us. It's really easy. Right. I just wanted to debunk that, that old story about if you're not your... Uh, you have to be somebody else to conform to the people around you. No, you, you gotta be yourself and then the around you conforms to who you are. What? What were we... we I feel like we were talking about other stuff, though. We were, no, we were talking about the, the, uh, the artist's story of how... I know, but we were talking about other things, about fe feeling like we're dying and stuff like that. Which we do. About, like, you and I going through our own journey of being creatively expressed and how, like, mm -hmm. putting more of what we really want to say out there on the internet is, like, fucking scary. And it feels like we're killing ourselves and yeah. killing our reputations and killing mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Destroying it all, like, burning it, setting it afire with kerosene and, like, yeah that's what the, it feels like on the inside when we take risks to put ourselves out there in front of people and to like put things that we do out even on, in public yeah. display even when everybody is loving what we're doing it still feels like death it still feels like death and yeah because the, the old us has to die in order for the new us to come on out of the shell and the, the old me was a person who didn't talk about sex ever, never mind on the internet, and, and didn't not talk publicly. about... Not publicly. Not even to your friends. Not, not to my friends. Heck, not even to myself. I thought it was too taboo to even discuss it in my own subconscious. Yeah. Me too. Hey, I'm like a Catholic schoolgirl over here, and he was like a virgin until he was like, what, 31? 31. So yeah, both of us were very repressed. sexually repressed. Repressed. <laughs> But these, the message still had to come out, and because mm -hmm. it wasn't coming out, it was like... Coiling it up. It was just coiling up and getting rotting. more powerful. And, and we were both rotting in ourselves. Yeah, this feeling of like, man, why is all of the stuff that I'm making not feeling good to me? Like, why does my creations feel so blah? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not saying that this painting makes me feel like super awesome all the time, but just it, it was fun to make it. And I think that that's something that when we start caring so much about what other people think and what, whether or not we're going to offend somebody, um, it feels like death to ourselves when we can't allow ourselves to express the things we want to say and things that we want to think. like. It's censorship. It's it's, it's self-censorship. It's, self it's the worst it's type. It's the worst type. Yeah, there's no one out there that's saying, like, no, you can't do that. But, you know, because somebody said it way off in the distant past, or somebody shamed you for it. Or inferred it. Or inferred or it. Or said that that wasn't the right thing for them. You know, you, you've taken these things and... Really run with run them. Run with them. And so, yeah, that's, that's what happened for me. And, you know, I made my art this taboo terrible thing this shameful thing you know to have all of these mind explorations out there on the internet because i thought that, that meant that you know somehow i was being negative or being terrible right but it's not you it's know, not it's just 
the parts of my psyche that want to be met, you know, the shadow. And my shadow wants to come out through crazy eccentric drawings that <laughs> are completely inappropriate and, and uh, startling. Like, and that's, that's me. And that's the way that you want to feel. I mean, that's, it, your art is it's simply... It's a bold it, expression. It, it's an expression of what you're feeling on the inside. And, and I know that that particular piece of art came out of a very powerful experience for you. Yeah, an experience of feeling like I was being creatively censored right. from a friend who didn't like the video that we had to do on rape and pedophilia, mm -hmm. and yeah, that so you painting felt... came out because I was just like, well, fuck, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, just getting it out on the canvas. Yeah, you want to censor me? Look what I'm going to make. I'm going to make something so outlandish <laughs> and so outrageous and so fucking penile and grotesque that you're gonna have to look at it <laughs> we're gonna make you look you can't unsee this picture yeah you cannot unsee it once you've seen it yeah hashtag trigger I, I should come with a warning label hashtag trigger trigger warning trigger warning i'm gonna get you t-shirts that just i'm a trigger warning trigger warning i'm a trigger there. warning i'm sorry <laughs> yeah, you know i'm actually i'm not sorry sorry not sorry hashtag there you go <laughs> there you go wait no i'm, I'm a millennial i should know that it goes hashtag then you should then sorry not sorry mm. no it's like trigger warning and then hashtag on the back <laughs> sorry not sorry that's right hmm so yeah anyway so the two of us are just dying dying we're dying dying creatively we're it's actually no we're coming to life creatively but dying to our old selves mm-hmm Dying to the selves who were people pleasers and censorship Nazis inside of our own mind. And you get to watch it 30 minutes at a time. Yeah! Welcome to the Our Death channel and Rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> Money, power, sex. Money, power, Might sex. Might as well be like sex and death. It's, this is our Freudian channel. Yeah, it's very Freudian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk about sex and death. It's like Freud and Jesus made a baby, and that's money power sex. <laughs> Who was the man? I don't know. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> the mental image. I the mental image. The shit that comes out of my mouth, I tell you. Like, I'm it's just you. like. <clears throat> right. No yeah. filters. No filters. No like, filters. seriously, I'm so tired of living my, my life through a filter. And you know, like that's what the most successful people do. Like, look, look at people who we consider to be very successful, and they are personalities. Um, you know, I follow Elon Musk, the very definition of a crazy person, crazy intelligent. But the words that come out of his mouth, I'm pretty sure that they don't go through his brain first. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just look at him and you're like, "What on earth are you talking about, Elon?" But that's how I feel. You know? I, that's how I feel too. I just feel like, no filter. But yeah, but now it's just like it, it's so interesting to take it to this other level because we've been living our life like our day to day life like that. Yeah, we so have. So it's interesting to like bring that onto the internet. It is. It's very interesting. And to see like the response. And and to see the the very positive response that we've gotten. I mean, people who I I never would have thought would actually follow me in this iteration are following, liking, commenting, sharing. I know! And other what? people who I was like, eh, you know, like, I, I've had other people just completely block me on Facebook who I didn't expect would do that. And it's very interesting. I, I had an experience today where I talked to my sister about what we do here. I said, yeah, we make videos about money, power, and sex. And, uh, she didn't get it. <laughs> I love her so much, but she didn't get it. She's like, why would you talk about that? I don't know, because it's inside and I want it to be outside. But I come from a family that, that values privacy a lot. And um, I never understood why. And I come from a family who has historically felt very ashamed about their sexuality. Mm -hmm. So here we are, like being not very private about sexuality. Feels like super taboo to me. It feels like I'm breaking so many like... Family agreements. Family agreements and so many agreements with my culture and feeling like I'm breaking agreements with society and just, mm -hmm. just everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting process, but it's something that I know I'm supposed to do and I know that it's, it's here for me to do because it's calling me so hard. Right. And 
I think that everybody has a calling like that. I think everybody has a calling to go do something that in your world is, is the breaking of an agreement. Is the is the breaking away from all of the the and social norms. profile the social norms that you've experienced, and in going into something else that probably scares the crap out of you the same exact way that us doing this scares the crap out of us. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we do it, all the voices in our head come up like you're an idiot. You're destroying your social capital. You're crazy. You're yeah. You you're destroying your reputation. Nobody's gonna love you. You're a pervert. Go live in your car. <laughs> you failure as a human being. <laughs> Which oh, actually does happen. Yeah, the thoughts come. The thoughts come. And when the thoughts come, it's great to be able to point at people liking our stuff and be like, you know, there's evidence to the contrary. That people don't think we're creepy. That people don't think we're creepy or crazy. And they that think we're brave. Right, and interesting enough to tune in. And we've got like, what, in ten, been 10 days, we've got about 150 views on our YouTube channel that we haven't even really told anybody about. People clearly are like what we're saying. I have zero dislikes on my YouTube channel. Wow. Right? Yeah. And that's the power of the internet to find your peeps, to find the people who really resonate with you and what you're saying. Right, so if we're not your peeps and you don't like my penis pics and you don't like my... <laughs> and you don't like what we're talking about, money, power, sex, go on your merry way. Yeah, kindly Please go kindly elsewhere. Kindly unfollow us, unfriend us, block us if you're so courageous. But whatever, like, mm -hmm. you don't have to stick around and watch our videos just because you knew us in the past. You don't have to, like, do nope. any of that because, honestly, like, I feel like I'm a different person day to day. And that's yeah. part of living in the present. It is. When you're not attached to your past and you're not attached to your future, like, you get to be reborn each day. Which is really cool yeah. because you get to experience a new life each day. Right. So. But very triggering for your friends and family who are like, but I knew you for X number of years and you were the same, the same, the same. And now you're deciding to be different. Whoa. Scary. What, gi what gives you the right? Yeah, you're supposed to stay the same for my benefit. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like this is something that, that Katharina and I work through with our own relationship because as we both change and grow... We're different than we met when, when we met and married. We're very, shit, we're very, we're different. very different people. <laughs> I saw something pop up on my Facebook feed. You know how they do that memories thing of, uh, you know, this was you two years ago. And I looked at me two years ago and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That was me two years ago. I Holy don't shit. even know what to say. If that person was in the room right now, they would probably be very scared of me. Yeah, they yeah. would be. They would be. They'd be I like, knew you were two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is awesome from my perspective, but... Because it means you've been transforming and growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have been. As a direct result of my relationship with you. Mm -hmm. and all the work that we do together and just that we have the impetus to do you know we are both very courageous in expressing ourselves and who we really are yeah and it has been quite the trip <laughs> quite the trip yeah it has been yeah <sighs> anyways that I think was really all I had to talk about today Okay. Or for right now. And we just got inspired to make a video because we were talking about... Yeah, he came in and watched, looked at my painting. <laughs> and I've added, like, a bunch of hair on Yeah, the penis. the penis shaft grew hair. And I was <laughs> laughing so hard at it. And then I went and told him just, like, how scared I was to post that picture on right. Facebook. Because I was like, oh, no. But people will see it into my head. Right. They'll see the naughty, horrible, or atrocious things in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, yesterday we were at art galleries, and there's plenty of penises all over Picasso those art... Picasso paints so many penises and vaginas into his into paintings. Into his paintings. If you, say, if you look at his paintings and say, that doesn't look like a person, no shit. That looks like a collection of genitals, of genitals yeah. <laughs> that kind of, kind of make up a person. Mm -hmm. Yes, Picasso had a hard on when he was making that. Yeah, for his wife. For his wife. Yes. For Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. She probably absolutely loved it. <laughs> yeah. But that, that was his level of creative expression, and that's why you know who Picasso is. That's why he's the most collected artist he in history. He was a well-sexed man. He was a well-sexed man. Yeah. So am I. She's a well-sexed ma'am. 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 
Yeah. That's the that's the the source of that's that's the source of all this creativity. Power. All that power. Yeah. All the money that kind of comes as a result of it. Yeah, living it's in, neat. in living in harmony with yourself. Mhm. Mm yeah, ties right back into self acceptance. Mhm. Mm ties right back into self love. We we have to love ourselves quite radically in order to to go undergo this transformation. I mean, what about the caterpillar that doesn't want to be a butterfly that holds on to all of its legs? Because it's like, how can I operate with six legs? I need a hundred. Mm -hmm. I'm a caterpillar. I've never known any other way. Goes into the cocoon, comes out as a butterfly, and complains that it, it's a different form. Mm -hmm. That never happens. The, the, the thing that we are becoming is, is the better thing. It's the thing that I've always seen in my head and that I've been downright afraid of. Me too. Mm -hmm. Downright afraid of the person I see in my head because I'm like, who am I to be that person? Imposter syndrome is real. You think, oh, I can't possibly. I'm. I must be an imposter. I must be a. I must be narcissistic. I must be really self-centered. But then I look at all the people who private message me and say, "Wow, your video it just completely changed my worldview." I'm like, oh, cool. And then two seconds later, I'm like, I'm an imposter. I've never done anything for anybody. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm not doing the thing that everybody does. I'm different. I'm different. I was different in first grade, too. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, it's been an interesting day, just sort of working through all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. A very interesting day. Anyways, I think that's all we've got yeah. for the second time until we just launch into something totally different and cut this off at like 45 minutes. <laughs> Our group is up and running. Our group is up and up running. This group is up and running. Yeah, that's we, what we wanted to tell them. That's right. Yeah, we took all of the, Katharina and I have both been a part of many different groups, and we took all of the awesome parts of the groups that we were a part of, and we just sort of combined them all into... No, the, we didn't. Huh? He's lying. We didn't. Well, we didn't I, do that at all. We made a group completely unique to what we're doing and... I mean, fit the feeling, not the actual... We like, made a group that is a safe place to talk about money, power, and sex. And if you are interested in joining said group and talking to us about your money, power, sex, and joining like this group, monthly group coaching sort of circle space where mm -hmm. you can come and share all of the stuff that's going on for you and have us give you advice in a way that is more personal rather than just you commenting on our videos here. Uh, we would love to share that with you. So please give us a private message, either him or I, mm -hmm. and I will add you to the group. And then we'll talk about money, power, and sex. In the context of your relationship, yeah. in the context of what you personally are going through. Yeah. And incidentally, I did make it to be like all the parts of other groups that I think are awesome. Did you? I did. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you? It did. Did you? <laughs> it did. Did you? You're just contrary. I am. I'm in a little bit of a rambunctious mood today. Yeah. I'm painting Harry Cox in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And she's like, I know what I'll do. I'm, I'm going to be a contrary. She, and she's going to poke me and... Poke yeah, the scorpion. Poke the scorpion. She's poking the scorpion. <laughs> yes. I think she might have an ulterior motive with this that's going to be manifest after we turn the camera off. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys okay anyway that's what we got for today thanks so much for watching take a look at our group pm us etc peace from maui and it goes off